Welcome to my public health thought leadership series themed the climate crisis is a health crisis. My name is Okori Kate Ginikachi and today I will be talking about how to frame advocacy messages about climate change. This blog is the final part of a two-part sub-series and today I will be discussing campaign strategies centered around providing evidence on the health consequences of climate change. Climate change is considered the most significant global health threat in the 21st century. The years 2021 and 2022 witnessed extreme weather events that ravaged every continent. This compounded the challenges for healthcare systems already strained by the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. Africa, in particular, witnessed alarming changes. Continents, highland areas experienced a 13.8% increase in the number of months favorable for malaria transmission. Additionally, the likelihood of dengue transmission rose by 12% during the same period. Even though African countries bear the brunt of climate change, most large-scale climate change advocacy programs within the region tend to be event-based, only gaining momentum after the occurrence of a climate disaster. A notable example was the 2017 Stop the Suit campaign in Nigeria's Port Harcourt, which was formed in response to the thick smog that enveloped the city for several months. Pollution was a consequence of fossil fuel combustion oil refineries. Campaigns stimulated widespread public participation across the city and even caught the attention of the country's president. As a result, a state of emergency was declared to address this issue and the local authorities took steps to clamp down on illegal crude oil refineries that were identified as the primary culprits. While the Stop the Suit campaign had diverse objectives, it included a secondary campaign that was focused on raising awareness about the health impact of long-term exposure to suit. According to research, Advocacy messages centered around the health impacts of climate change can lead to increased engagement with climate change issues and support for mitigation policies. Furthermore, straighten the health implications of climate change and air pollution from fossil fuels have shown to be both novel and captivating. These issues resonate personally with individuals across a wide range of views on climate change. They are also less politically polarizing, making it easier to foster connection and understanding among diverse groups of people. Designing advocacy messages on the health impact of climate change. Research exploring climate change's health consequences has expanded in recent years. However, a knowledge gap exists between experts, which include researchers and health professionals, and non-experts, which include policymakers and the general public. To fill this gap, it is recommended that advocacy messages centered around climate and health should incorporate these three information categories. First, the health consequences of climate change. Second, information on the health benefits of climate solutions. And finally, calls to actions intended to motivate people to engage in political advocacy for climate solutions. This recommendation is based on findings from a United States-based study which revealed that advocacy messages incorporating all three information categories were more effective in driving climate action among the population. On the other hand, 
excluding any of these categories had a less positive impact. It is worth noting the climate advocacy campaigns in Nigeria that incorporated at least one of these strategies recorded remarkable success towards their objectives. This indicates that public support for climate change in Nigeria and similar regions would significantly improve if advocacy campaigns were rigorously developed to include all three information categories.